Sick of getting blisters? Stop slipping and just be comfortable with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Great fit, great comfort, lots of grip, and an even better price. Available now at puregripsocks.com. Inside this box is a really good pair of football boots. However, I'd be lying to you if I didn't say that I think they're completely pointless. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the brand new Puma Future Ultimate Low, the low cut version of the new Puma Future retailing for the same $220 as the mid cut model. However, as you can see side by side with the mid cut version, the difference is minimal to say the least. In fact, I might even argue that directly on the side, the low cut model might actually be higher. It's 2023, so we're used to having mid and low cut options of the same football boot, but I don't think we've ever had two options that are as similar as these two variations are. With that said, there are some minor differences and we'll talk about what those are in today's video. So if you're interested in learning more about the low cut version of the Future Ultimate, stick around and we'll go over everything, including how they fit and feel on feet. And if you are interested in a pair for yourself, you can pick them up below their normal retail price by way of some exclusive SR4U coupon codes by checking out the first link down below. And as always, if you guys enjoy these brutally honest reviews, don't forget to drop a like on the video and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my reviews of all the latest football boots of 2023. So first things first here's another quick side by side of the low cut and the mid cut and you can see that the front and back on the mid is definitely a little bit higher directly on the side at least on the lateral side I'd almost make the argument that the lows sit a little bit higher and then on the opposite side of the foot it's definitely a little bit higher cut on the mid cut variation but realistically all that's different is this extension material that you have around the ankle and kind of front of the foot area of the mid cut model has simply just been trimmed down to be lower on the low cut version. You'll also notice that the heel liner, which is this soft microfiber material, does come up a little bit higher on the low cut version than it does on the mid cut version, but that's simply to give a little bit of added structure to this area at the back. Beyond that though, there is no difference when it comes to fit, feel, shaping, construction. It's the same football boot. Where I suppose you can have your preference when it comes to looks, although the difference again is very subtle, the one thing that I really noticed between these two in terms of the wearability experience is that the low cut version, because it's cut lower at the front and there's really nothing to grab onto at the back, they're just harder to put on than the mid cut variation. But what about the weight? The low cut model technically uses less material, so it should weigh less. The question is, what exactly is the weight difference? Well, both in the same size 9.5, US. We'll start off with the mid cut variation and you can see that they weigh in at 8.1 ounces, the equivalent of 229 grams. Change the scale back to ounces and we'll throw on the low cut variation and you can see that they weigh in at 7.9 ounces, the equivalent of 223 grams, making for a grand total of six grams of weight difference between these two in favor of the low cut model. So I suppose if you just want the lightest possible version of the Puma Future, even though it's kind of an insignificant amount of weight, the low cut model is technically lighter. On feet, when you see the mid cut and the low cut model side by side, there's almost an argument to be made that the mid cut model doesn't even really qualify as a mid cut football boot because on the sides it's pretty much a low cut model and like I said the low cut version is arguably even cut a little bit higher directly on the side of your ankle it's only at the very front and the very back where the mid cut model does extend a little bit more so as far as comparing these to other mid cut football boots I would say they're both low cut which is extremely confusing i understand that but again it just goes to show how pointless this low cut version actually is given that the normal mid cut version is basically low cut anyways as far as everything else is concerned there is absolutely no difference between these two aside from the slight difference in look between the two models around your ankle the fit the sizing the width the shape everything else is the same no difference in the construction of the heel width wise these are going to be suitable for most foot types they have a more snug fit than what some puma future models have had in the past but they also fit a lot more normal than the future z concept that they've been running with for the last several generations they just have a more consistent tension across the entire upper and in my opinion fit and feel very comfortable especially if you like something that has that sock like knitted feel 
So from a width perspective, as long as you don't have ridiculously wide feet, these are gonna work for most people. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US. And as the future line has run for a couple generations now, I would say it's about a quarter size long, not necessarily long enough to where I would recommend going down in size. But if your boots that you're wearing right now are currently a little bit too big, half a size down wouldn't be a bad idea. But for most people, true to size is what I would personally recommend. So beyond those few minor modifications, there really is no difference between the low cut and mid cut version of the Future Ultimate. So I'm not gonna go over all the details again. If you are looking for more specific information on the fit, feel, and performance of these boots, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen to my full review of the normal Ultra Ultimate, the mid-cut variation. And also, if you're interested in the future at all, I would strongly urge you to check my video out of the Puma Future Pro, the first takedown model in the line that retails for $140 and in some ways is arguably better than the top end models. So in conclusion, other than the fact that I do think this low cut model is unnecessary, I can't say that it's a bad pair of football boots. They are every bit as good as the mid cut model. Where I can say I am a little bit disappointed though is in the past when they have done a mid and low cut version of the Puma Future, the low cut models have had an entirely different heel construction, typically trending towards something more traditional and even have a more traditional U-throat construction and standalone tongue. Over the years, those have actually been some of my favorite Puma Future models. So the fact that they haven't done that here, again, is a little bit disappointing, but Instead, you're left with two very good football boots that are both very good because they're almost exactly the same, but technically different.